Hey, so last year we started laminating a lot of sheets that I wanted to be reusable for our homeschool. And I noticed that after a day or so, if we left them and didn't erase them right away, that it seemed so hard to get off the dry erase markers. Um, I mean, I really had to, I really had to scrub and then also it would leave behind this film. So I thought that's not how it's supposed to be. What are we doing wrong? So I did a little experiment today after doing some reading and I just wanted to show you what we found works well to take off a dry erase marker from laminated sheets. So ideally you don't want to use dry erase markers on laminated sheets, which I didn't know. So now we know. And uh, these are what we had just been using some some dry erase markers that went on our board, our calendar board. And I will no longer be using these. I'm going to actually be using something called a wet erase marker. And they, you might've heard of them called Visa V's. I don't have them here to show you because I just ordered them on Amazon and they're on their way here, but they are called Visa V. If you want to know how to, uh, what to write with on laminated sheets that will just wipe off with water. So I should have thought about that. I knew that from uh, growing up when my mom was a teacher, they used to have those old plastic machines that she would crank and the plastic would just go and go and go on the projector screen. And she always used Visa V and water sprayer bottle. So that's what we'll be probably using for cleaning these. Uh, but for right now, I just wanna show you if you're in a situation like I am, or you've got a bunch of these papers that are um, not coming off how to clean them without driving yourself crazy. So first thing I wanted to try showing you was just a wipe in plain water and I'm just kind of wring it out a little bit. So not working super well. I would say that's the worst of all the options we've tried. And the second thing that I tried that did work all right was our Branch Basics all-purpose cleaner. That just generally works well on almost anything to clean off stuff. So I sprayed some on here, let it sit for a second, and then watch how that comes off. Generally, this does a really good job of getting stuff off, but it still is a little bit tricky. You have to press down pretty hard um, back and forth a few times to get that off. So that's what the Branch Basics I think that this would work if you needed it to, but it would probably drive me crazy having to spend this much time wiping off something. It would make me not wanna use the sheets. All right, so the next thing that I wanted to show you that we tried is um, a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. So dip in a little water. And this actually works really well. I saw the suggestion online, so I wanted to try it. That's pretty fast. I barely have to press down and it just comes off. Um, so this would be a good option, although I know that this might um, disrupt the surface of your laminated plastic and it might over time make it less, uh, less good to write on. So. That probably would be a quick option, but maybe not the best option. So the last one I wanted to show you, I need a new sheet to try out. This was our uh, loop schedule that I designed. All these are in my Etsy shop. I can link below at the bottom at the end of the video for you. But this was a loop schedule that I had made. And like I said, it's really hard to get off. And so the last thing I wanted to try was dollar store isopropyl alcohol. So this is 50% solution. And I think from what I read that uh, higher is even better, but this is what I had at home from the dollar store. So we'll try it out and see how that works. Pretty easy. 
Not quite as easy as the Magic Eraser. Way easier than the Branch Basics or the water. So I'm assuming that if I got a higher percentage of isopropyl alcohol that it would come off even faster. I've also heard that nail polish remover works really well, hence why this also works really well, but I didn't have any of that at home to try. So there you go. There's my little experiment for you to see how to get off dry erase markers from your from your laminated sheets because if you're like me, you want to reuse things, but you don't want to spend forever taking them off. So after this, what we're going to do is go ahead and wait for our Visa V markers to get here in the mail, and then I'll just use those and keep a spray bottle with water probably to clean them off so that we can quick clean them each day. All right, if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you would give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you would like to see more homeschool videos in the future. All right, thanks.